this is the last video of the local chapter this is the continuation video of the exercise 3 of the local chapter Already in the last video i explained up to seventh problem now this is the eighth question now see the question a is equal to 2 comma 5 b is equal to 4 comma minus 11 and the locus of c is 9x plus 7y plus 4 is equal to 0 then the locus of the centroid of the triangle abc is equal to so here the given data is a comma b two vertices are given and also given the locus of the c locus of the c equation is given as 9x plus 7y plus 4 is equal to 0 and already given the points is equal to a is equal to 2 comma 5 b is equal to 4 comma minus 11 and just i take that c is equal to x1 y1 now what is the given question locus of the centroid so i take that g is equal to x comma y here now what is the formula for finding the g value g centroid x comma y is equals to x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 that is x1 plus 6 by 3 and y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 that is y1 minus 6 by 3 now what is the value of x from this equation just equating the corresponding values then we get 3x is equal to x1 plus 6 and 3y is equal to y1 minus 6 from this the value of x1 is equal to 3x minus 6 and the value of y1 is equal to 3y plus 6 now replacing these two values in this locus equation that is therefore what is the equation of the locus of c here 9x plus 7y plus 4 is equal to 0 now replacing c point in this equation then we get 9 into 3x minus 6 plus 7 into 3y plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 0 so the answer is equal to 27x plus 21y x 10 y 10 so 27x plus 21y means that is the only first option so that is the correct answer now the ninth question the base of a triangle lies along the line x is equal to a and is of length a then the area of the triangle is a square then what is the locus of the vertex so the base of a triangle lies along a line x is equal to a suppose this is the triangle this is the base given that the base lies along the line x is equal to a and is of length is equal to a so here given that length of the base is equal to a and equation of the base is x is equal to a and also given that area of the triangle is equal to a square so what is the area of the triangle formula let it be height h is equal to h is the height of the triangle and suppose this is the vertex x1 y1 now the locus of its vertex now we want the locus of its vertex so what is given area is equals to a square what is the formula for a square half into a into height that is half into h into a is equal to given as a square from this equation from this equation the value of h is equal to 2a from the diagram here how to take the height value this is nothing but the perpendicular distance from this point to its opposite side so from the diagram clearly we can tell that height is nothing but the perpendicular distance from this point to its opposite side that is what is side equation x minus e now what is the perpendicular distance value mm -hmm. modulus of x1 minus a by square root of 1 square perpendicular distance mod ax1 plus by1 plus c by square root of a square plus b square so this value is equal to height height is equal to 2a so here height is equal to 2a but this 2a is nothing but the length of the perpendicular from this point to its opposite side from this the value of modulus of x1 minus a is equal to 2a that is x1 minus a is equal to plus or minus 2a that is x1 minus a is equal to 2a and x1 minus a is equal to minus 2a that is first equation is x1 minus 3a is equal to 0 second equation is x1 plus a is equal to 0 so the answer is equal to x1 plus a into x plus a into x minus 3a is equal to 0 so this is the correct option first option sum number 10 if a comma x1 x2 x3 and so on and b comma y1 y2 and so on form two infinite ap series with common differences p and q respectively then the locus of p h comma k is equals to and h comma k values are given here so here h comma k values are given we want the locus of h comma k what is the given data given that a comma x1 comma x2 are in ap and b comma y1 comma y2 are in ap so this series is in ap 
and this is also as an AB and given that common difference is equal to P here and common difference is equal to Q. Now given that H is equals to X1 plus X2 plus X3 and so on plus Xn by n. This is H value that is equals to now what is X1 value? This is AP city. So the second term is equal to A plus B. First term plus common difference that is X1 is equal to a plus b and x2 is equal to a plus 2p and so on so on xn is equal to a plus n p by n now this is equals to now we are adding the numbers a plus a plus a and so on so on total a is equal to n here n a plus p plus 2p plus n p remaining values are p plus 2p plus n p that is taking p common here then we get 1 plus 2 plus and so on plus n whole by n. Now separating the denominator. So this is equals to n a by n plus p into what is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on plus n. n into n plus 1 by 2. n into n plus 1 by 2 by n. Here n and n gets cancelled. Here also n is cancelled. Therefore the value of h is equals to a plus p into n plus 1 by 2. That is the value of h minus a by p is equal to n plus 1 by 2. In the same manner, we take the second series value. The second series here, b by 1 by 2 and so on. That is, similarly the value of k minus b by q is equal to. Second value k, first value of the second series b, common difference is equal to q, is equal to n plus 1 by 2. Similarly, we can prove that the second value is like that. Therefore, equating these two values, therefore, h minus a by p is equals to k minus b by q. Now, taking the cross product, that is, q into h minus a is equals to p into k minus b. Now, equation of the locus of h comma k, that is, q into x minus a is equals to p into y minus b. That's all. This is the answer and this is the first option. Next problem sum number 11. Given that P is equal to A comma 0, Q is equal to minus A comma 0 and R is the variable point on one side of the line PQ such that angle RPQ minus angle RQP is equal to 2 alpha then what is the locus of R? So here two points are given first. So this is the X axis. This is the Y axis. What are the given points? First point P is equal to A comma 0 and the second point Q is equal to minus A comma 0. And, and R is a variable point on one side of the line. That is, suppose this is the R point. R is equals to x comma y. Suppose this is the R point x comma y, which is the point lies on one side of the line PQ. Now join the lines PR and QR like that. Now here, what is the given data? Angle RPQ, suppose this is x comma y, then what are the values here? This value is equals to x and this value is equals to y. And this value is equal to A here since this is the origin 0 comma 0. And this total value is also equals to A. Since this is A comma 0, this origin O, total value is equal to A here and this total value is equal to A. This small length is equal to X. This is equal to Y since R is equal to X comma Y here. So this is the data from the diagram. Now what is given? RPQ minus RQP is equal to alpha. RPQ, RPQ angle. This is RPQ angle. So, R, so I take that RPQ is equals to here theta plus 2 alpha and this is equals to theta. Now what is the value of RPQ minus RQP? Theta plus 2 alpha minus alpha that is equal to 2 alpha given that the difference between the angles is equal to 2 alpha. So I take that first value is equal to theta plus 2 alpha and second value is equal to theta. Now what is the difference value? Clearly that value is equal to 2 alpha. Now what is the locus of the point R? That is a given question. So I take the tan 2 alpha value first. What is tan 2 alpha? This is equals to tan theta plus 2 alpha minus theta. And this is in the form of tan of a minus b. And tan of a minus b is equal to tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b. This is a, this is b. Tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a into tan b. Tan theta plus 2 alpha into tan theta. And this is equals to tan a, tan theta plus 2 alpha. From this triangle, what is tan theta plus 2 alpha? 
opposite by adjacent what is opposite value phi by what is adjacent value we want only this value this is nothing but a minus 6 here that value is equals to a minus 6 minus tan theta from this triangle here we have to take the tan theta value and tan theta is equals to opposite by adjacent that is y by notice that adjacent value x plus a this total length that is y by a plus 6 so tan theta plus 2 alpha is equal to from this triangle y by a minus 6 and tan theta value from this triangle is equals to y by x plus a whole by 1 plus Again, this value is equal to y by a minus x into this value is equal to y by a plus x. So, this is tan to alpha is equals to taking LCM a y plus x y minus a y plus x y by denominators are cancelled here. Now, this value is equals to a square minus x square plus y square. Now, here a y and a y gets cancelled. Now, interchanging these two values here, then we get minus x square plus y square plus a square is equals to 2xy by tan 2 alpha and this is equals to minus x square plus y square plus a square is equal to 2xy cot 2 alpha now writing the first two terms to this side then it becomes x square plus 2xy cot 2 alpha minus y square is equal to a square that is the second option. That's all. Next one, sum number 12. A variable circle which passes through the fixed point 2, 0 and touches y axis. Then what is the locus of the center of the circle? A variable circle passes through one fixed point. So this is the circle. The circle passes through one fixed point 2, 0 and touches the y axis. So this is the y axis. So first I take that equation of circle is equal to x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. This is the equation of the circle in the standard form. Now what is given the circle passes through the point 2 comma 0. Replacing the point here 4 plus 0 plus 4g plus 0 plus c is equal to 0. That is 4g plus 4 plus c is equal to 0. And also given that the circle touches the y-axis. Circle touches the y-axis means what is the condition? F square is equal to C. This is the condition that is replacing that this value in place of C. That is 4G plus 4 plus F square is equal to 0. What is the given quotient? Locus of the center of the circle. What is the center of the circle? Minus G comma minus F. That is here f square is equal to minus 4g minus 4. Writing these two values to this side. So this is equal to y square. This is equal to 4x minus 4. That is in place of minus g we have to take x here. In place of minus f we have to take y here. Since we want the locus of center. That is minus g comma minus f is equal to x comma y here. Now what is this equation? This equation represents the parabola. Y square is equal to 4x minus 4. So this is the parabola equation. So answer is equal to parabola. That's all. Next one. Sum number 13. The equation x cube minus x square y plus x minus y is equal to 0 represents. So here one equation is given. What it represents? That's the given question. So first I take x square common here. So first I take x square common here. That is x square into x minus y. Plus next taking 1 common here. 1 into x minus y is equal to 0. Again taking x minus y common. x minus y into x square plus 1 is equal to 0. That is x minus y is equal to 0. And x square plus 1 is equal to 0 x square plus 1 is equal to 0 means it is not the real equation. So, the roots of this equation are the imaginary numbers. So, x minus y is equal to. Now, this represents the straight line. So, answer is equal to straight line. That's all. Number 14. The graph represented by the equations x is equal to sin square t and y is equal to 2 cos t. So, here 2 equations are given. The question is the graph represented by these two equations. So, here x is equal to sin square t means this is x is equal to 1 minus cos square t. Sin square t is equal to 1 minus cos square t. That is x is equal to 1 minus cos t. What is the value of the cos t from this equation? y by 2. So, y by 2 whole square. That is 
x is equal to 1 minus y square by 4. That is, taking LCM, 4x is equal to 4 minus y square. That is, y square is equal to 4 minus 4x. That is, y square is equal to minus of minus 4 into x minus 1. Now, what is this? This is the equation of the parabola. But here, x is equal to sin square t means already we know that the range of we know that 0 is less than or equal to sin square t less than or equals to 1. That is here 0 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 1. 0 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 1 means actually this equation represents the parabola. But here within this limits only it represents the parabola. That is answer is equal to this is the portion of the parabola not a parabola this is the portion of the parabola since y because this is the this equation represents the parabola in this limits only in these limits only